Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today's video about the dresser makeover. With this style, we're going to use seven different colors and four different techniques. Here I have a picture of the tools that I used, but you don't have to use the same colors. I'm going to write everything down in the description box. Check it out. I started with my base color, it's a gray, it's custom color, so I don't really know the name of it, but you can, this is my base color, so this is the color I'm gonna fix every mistake on the piece with it. The second layer, I'm gonna use the dabbing technique with it, and we'll blend all my colors randomly. usually takes a little bit longer than the regular painting. I started mixing all my gray shades with the white, not the blue, not the brown or the gold mustard color. Those I'm gonna blend them at the end on the edges and the, bl the blue color will be or turquoise will be in the middle. After finishing my whole piece on the details, I'm going to add my color, which is mustard color and keep adding water. So I'm going to have the wash technique. It will stick to the details, but not the whole thing. If you want less the goldish color on your details, you can keep adding water and wipe it down a little bit or, you know, just dab it a little bit. For this part, I'm going to add my paint with texture. So I already mixed my texture with the paint. I'm going to show you in a little bit how to do that and add it randomly to the piece using the putty knife. Remember the first color I used, it was dark gray, my base color. After I'm using the putty knife, I'm going to use my blending brush and just add that color to every spot. I felt like it's a little bit a lot in it, like the, the white, do you see the white? That's a lot to me. So I'm just going to add the gray on it on top of that.
I'm using my brush to blend the colors, the same colors randomly, uh, mainly I'm using the dark gray which is my base color on top of the texture I added to the piece. Here I'm going to show you very fast how I did the whole process from the first layer to the second one and to the final results from both sides. So you're going to see me blending my colors on one side and blending doing, I'm sorry, the putty knife on the other one. Here, uh, these are my colors that I used. They're different brands. You'll see them. I'm adding the color to and I'm adding the uh, texture on top of that, mixing it. The more texture I add it, the better it is for me because they will stick more to the piece. Just like the front, I'm adding my colors randomly. Those are only the gray shades with the white. Then I'll add the other three colors, which is brown, goldish, and the blue. Turquoise, sorry. I use walnut, uh, walnut stain for the top and protect it with polyurethane, oil base. And for the whole piece, I protected it with polyacrylic or you can use polyurethane with water base they both work perfect I hope with these techniques you can create a wonderful piece thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know down if you have any questions, thank you again.